Hello, I'm so sorry that I'm not there in person. My name is Nick Vujicic, founder of the Global Alliance of Conservative Christians, formed this week for projects and um, initiatives such as this. Things that need to be said and truth to be exposed. As we here in America, Serbian diaspora, we must understand the importance that the world needs to be aware right now of what the truth is in regards to Kosovo. We are on the brink of war. Um, we all know this. We are all praying for peace. It is absolutely unnecessary. It is absolutely induced. We are working with um, um, people who on the ground um, across all of our networks know exactly what the hostile environment really is. And we feel in Serbia that we are cornered. Um, we do not want to compare one war to another, but this is war against evil. It is injustice and much propaganda of uh, inaccurate, fake, induced news, and also the communications, digital content, and media restrictions um, are suppressing the truth. This is the very reason why I founded Global Alliance of Conservative Christians, where we need each other. As a Texan, we believe that this is very important, and um, this week I'll be in touch with President Vucic and the Prime Minister uh, of Serbia. I'm going to be in touch with uh, President Katalin Novak of Hungary. Um, I was just with all of them several weeks ago. Uh, we need each other. Um, we need the Hungarian backup as well. And I, as a U.S. citizen, Serbian descent, highly connected political um, voice, that's not a, po not a politician. It's time that we Christians start being political because we have been framed and polarized uh, and handicapped in one sentence that we need to be politically correct. Here is the problem. If you are politically, politically, in, if you're politically correct, you might be uh, unrighteous in that because as watchmen on the wall, you see blood. And if you don't talk and you don't alert, the blood is on our hands. We here, as watchmen for Serbia, as watchmen for the nations, I want you to know that this is of high priority for America to actually know the truth. No more will Serbian people be oppressed and always be seen as the bad guy. We've had enough. This is where God needs to rise up the army, bring unity. And I look forward to speaking to whomever is watching this to talk more about the strategy that I believe God has given us in praying for Kosovo. We need it now. Let us pray. Dear God, we come before you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. We pray, God, that you would bless the government of Serbia. We ask, God, that you would hold back the enemy in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you that you would give us wisdom and protection. We pray, God, for peace in Israel right now. We pray, God, that whatever is going on, that the evil will be um, stopped in Jesus' name. Uh, and we pray for America. America is such an unrighteous, unrighteous country that we have seen now the fruit that you have stopped blessing America because America stopped blessing you. Bring her back to repentance that we can once again be a nation of sons and daughters of light that stand up for justice, that are courageous, that are humble and speak the truth. We pray for peace in Kosovo. We pray for truth. And we ask God that you would help us all to see peace remain in Kosovo and justice to be done at the same time for the world to know the real situation. In your name we pray. Amen.